Hi, welcome to day nine of your 14 day fertility challenge. We are getting there and thank you so much for your amazing participation. Keep going ahead and commenting in the group and sharing your experiences and supporting your, uh, your friends and other members in the group because there are prizes to be won and I will be telling you more about that very shortly and I'm excited to do that. So for today, we are going to be looking at being picky about your prenatals. So I hope that each of you are taking a prenatal multivitamin or at a minimum some, some source of folate. And that's because before you conceive, you definitely want to have enough folate in your system to prevent certain types of birth defects, okay, neural tube defects that happen in the very, very early stages, usually before you even know you've conceived. So why do I want you to be picky about your prenatal? This is a really opportune time to nourish your body before you conceive and your, your nutrition status at the time of conception and before actually has been shown to predict health outcomes in your future child, which is amazing. So the healthier you, you, healthier you are now, the healthier your baby can be. And what better gift can you give to your child than a lifetime of health? So uh, here are a couple things about a prenatal vitamin that that should not be. So these are prenatal don'ts. Um, prenatals should not give you constipation or diarrhea or any kind of digestive problems. If that's the case, your body's saying no to it. You're not absorbing the benefits of that nutrition into your bloodstream because it's getting your, your gut really upset and it's probably going right through you. And of course, being constipated isn't good for anything. It's uncomfortable. You're not detoxifying your body as you could be. And, uh, and then some of these toxins are coming back into your body. You've got to be going to the bathroom every day. So if your prenatal is the culprit in constipation, let's switch it up. The second thing is your prenatal should not have artificial colors um, or binders and fillers in it. There's just no reason for that. There's so many good quality prenatals on the market. So if your prenatal has like F, D, and C number one or Yellow Lake number three listed on the label under the non-medicinal ingredients section, again, why would you put more chemicals into your body just to make your, your prenatal pink or blue? It's, it's, it's not necessary and we can do so much better. The third thing is your prenatal vitamin ideally should not be a hard tablet because hard tablets are difficult to break down and um, inside them they contain all kinds of kind of chalky stuff to bind it together into a into like a into that tablet shape and meanwhile you're not necessarily going to be getting all the benefits of the vitamins and minerals in it because those binders can bind up the actual materials that are supposed to be healthy healthy for you and again sweep them out of your body. So here's my suggestion. Let's try to find a prenatal that has a powder inside it, and I'll show you what this looks like. So it's a capsule. You can easily take the lid off, and look how easy it is to just, this powder just, just flows out, okay? Just into this bucket. So think of how much easier it is to deliver your nutrients in this powder form. It's already basically pretty much digested, so your small intestine just has to go, oh, yep, yeah, I'll take that up and absorb it instead of having your stomach acid have to, and your digestive enzymes have to break that, uh, that tablet apart just to get at the nutrients that are inside it. Hope that makes sense. Now, what should your prenatal have in it? Um, well, ideally, what, what I wanna share with you today is, is two nutrients, ideally the active form of folate and an absorbable form of iron. So what I'm gonna do for, to have, have you do for your challenge is to look on your label of your prenatal vitamins and if you're taking a multi, then I want you to find out how, what kind of folate or folic acid you're taking, how much in a day or how much in a serving. And same with the iron. What form of iron and how much are you taking in a day and pop that up on the Facebook group. And then uh, to get extra points on your challenge, I want you to do some research and figure out what would be an absorbable form of iron and what would be the most beneficial form of folic acid or folate to be taking in your product? And the answers may surprise you. So let's have a chat about that today. Okay, bye for now.